welcome and good morning. My name is John Kamara, and I'm really excited to welcome you to the eighth edition of Blockchain African Conference. I'm, are you excited, right? I'm truly, truly excited uh, to be here today. I mean, um, and, and it's amazing what we're going to talk about. Some of the topics we're going to be discussing, some of the speakers we have, and the fact that people from all over the world have joined us today. So if you're not excited, I need you to get excited. You know, get your coffee, whatever you are, get ready for two days of absolute fun, but also learning something and understanding what is happening within the blockchain ecosystem. We have seen massive growth in blockchain solutions across the world, but especially in Africa as well. We've also seen a lot of opportunities for African startups, entrepreneurs, and also big corporates who are now exploring the value of blockchain, the value of digital assets, the value of also cryptocurrencies. And as we get into the NFT space, but we are going to have people who will give us insights into what are happening. People who will talk to us about some of the amazing projects that are ongoing and how we can all participate. But before I do that, let me... um, Again, my name is John Kamara. I'm the founder uh, for Adenian Labs. Adenian Labs is a venture studio focused on building AI and blockchain-led startups across the continent. And we are one of the fastest growing venture studios in the continent. So I'm really excited to be here because so many, I also represent so many startups as well. And also to set the tone for this particular, you know, uh, Bitcoin event, an annual conference. It's, it's been Amazing seven years, obviously, but now coming into the eighth year, we want to really deep dive into some pertinent and also impressive issues that are facing the continent and also everybody else around the world. Africa is becoming a hotspot for so many things happening, and we're really excited to be part of this progress. So on the agenda today, we have over 34 sessions, 54 speakers from around the world, an eight panel session. So I'm hoping that by the end of today, you would have learned something. You'd have been excited about this conference and also you'd have taken away something for your work, for your life, for what you would do in this fast moving new economy, in this new digital age, but also helping regulators also understand the value of this industry and why this industry is here to stay and why it is also important that they participate in what is happening. We have seen the massive growth and adoption of cryptocurrency across various parts of the world. Uh, We've also seen amazing use cases uh, with a lot of companies, you know, um, blockchain platforms also providing education and knowledge about crypto-based projects across the continent. And and some of the speakers that we have today, uh, we have Dr. Edward Obasi, who is the CEO for DAFRI Group PLC. We'd be really excited to listen to what he has to say to us. Uh, we have Michelle Letterman, who is the Director of Communications at Clever. We also have some, uh, I'm a really big fan of Charles Hoskinson, who's the CEO of IOHK and um, founder of Cardano. Uh, whenever Charles speaks, you listen, you think, well, I can go to space now and build blockchain. So really excited to hear uh, uh, that session as well. And over the next um, two days, we'll also be deep diving into some institutional conversations around cryptocurrency for investment, cryptocurrency for institutional partners, and also looking at the improving margins in cryptocurrency and the value of digital assets. But also one of the key things that I think is also important is understanding the state of digital assets in the African market. Um, Looking at all the new exchanges that are coming to Africa as well. And, but how Africa is moving into the CBDC space. And I wanna hear more about it, you know, and and the growth of crypto VCs across the continent and across the world. And also see what type of information, knowledge, education, and what is it that they're also looking for in this continent. We're going to also have amazing fireside chats as well. Uh, Crypto as a financial system in the new economy. You heard it. Crypto as a financial system in the new economy. Again, extremely exciting. Uh, There's also a lot of handouts uh, as part of this um, 
conference where you can get handouts and learn about everything that has happened here. And you can also uh, download the handouts as well for all attendees so you can participate in this process. We want this to be as interactive, explosive, and exciting as possible. I'm sitting here in Nairobi if you're wondering where I am. This is the beauty of what we're doing here today with the internet. Everybody from around the world, we're all connected. And I'm sitting here in Nairobi talking to the rest of you, and I'm really excited about the opportunity to be here. And again, thank the, uh, uh, the um, event organizers. I'd also like to say a couple of quick thank yous to our sponsors, uh, because again, without our sponsors, we'd not be here, and we would not have the opportunity to actually do what we're doing. So some of the sponsors that we have include uh, blockchain.com uh, for our premier sponsors. We thank you very much, blockchain.com, for being there and for consistently supporting the event. Uh, Daffrey Bank, again, an absolute thank you as well for continue, your continued support of the event as our premium sponsor and also Clever uh, as well. Without you, this event would not have happened. We'd also like to thank our diamond sponsors as well, too. Our Maxis, um, Amber, BNB Chain, Hubi Global, and Metis, um, as well as um, other sponsors who are also participating in what we're doing, AlterCoin, Cryptocurrency Wire, QuidPro, Luno, Laysen, the East and South African Trade and Development Bank, TDB. Again, we'd like to thank all of you for participating and helping us make this come true. Um, and as we progress into this program, we'll also want to call people to participate with questions and other types of information that they would like to know. So go around the lobby, find rooms, find people that you'd like to talk to, send your questions through, talk to the panelists, um, also visit the exhibition booths of some of our exhibitors. Uh, we have quite a number of exhibitors as well who are here today to answer questions that you might have. Uh, we have, again, Good Dollar, Yellow Cat, Metis, Fuse, Blockchain.com, a lot of these exhibitors as well here today, Smile Identity, who are here to also showcase some of what they're doing. So please, I employ everyone every attendee from all over the world. If you're just waking up in America, if you're in Australia, if you are in India, if you're in Germany, if you're in Ireland, today is Paddy's Day, sorry, for Irish, for all of us Irish. Paddy's Day, so I'm really excited again in green uh, as an Irishman. Uh, but really, really happy that we're kicking off this particular event on such a high note. Um, for those of you who are online, and I... I ask everybody to go online and support us. So we're asking all our attendees to engage on Twitter. Twitter handle is at blockchainza. That is our Twitter handle, at blockchainza. Twitter hashtag is hashtag BAC2020. Hashtag BAC2020. I want to see people going in. We want to see the explosion of the next two days. So again, I'm really excited to be here. I'm excited to be kicking this off as your master ceremony. Please also, if you have questions for me, throw them in. Um, we look forward to an exciting two days of discussion that at the end would have created some level of insight, knowledge, relationships, networking, opportunity, and a drive for the African continent. I will see you very soon and welcome everyone to the eighth edition of this event. Thank you.